Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. It's a time of the week where we're going to be sharing Minerva's upcoming location as well as all the items she will have up for sale. So if you find this video helpful, hit the like button, make sure to be subscribed and I'll keep you up to date with all of Minerva's changes as well as everything else going on in Fallout 76. For now though, let's dive straight in. Attention citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Alright guys, this time round Minerva is going to be available over at Foundation and she will be there from Monday the 4th till Wednesday the 10th of August. This time round you will be able to pick up some decent items. First of all it will be the Plasma Caster. This is a really fun weapon to use so I definitely advise you to pick it up if you haven't tried it and that's going to be available for 563 gold bullion. Following that we have a couple of items that you can pick up from Daily Ops so I wouldn't advise you to buy these ones. First of all we've got the Gutter and then second of all we've got the Whistle in the Dark. Both decent weapons that you can put up on kind of display racks or something like that but other than that probably not what you're going to be wanting to look for in a weapon. Another good item this week is going to be the Secret Service Under Armour available for 188 gold bullion. This is the best Under Armour available in my opinion, but that's just because I like the looks of it and stuff. Stats wise it is up there, but I think there is a couple of other ones that's better in different areas depending on what you want. But put this on with say the shielded one and you've got yourself a nice little set. Shielded mod that is, just to make that clear. Now this week there is only one camp item available and that's going to be the water well. This is a very law friendly looking camp item and it's definitely one that I would recommend you picking up and that's available for 563 gold bullion. After that we've got a bunch of plans. So starting off we've got two plans for the secret service armor. We've got the lighter build secret service armor limbs that's available for 188 gold bullion and then we have the ultra light build secret service armor limbs and they're going to be available for 375. Why they're double the price of the other one I couldn't tell you but they are then we're gonna have three different plans available for the t65 power armor we've got calibrated shocks up at 563 gold bullion then we've got the t65 jetpack available for 1500 gold bullion and then following that we've got the t65 rusty knuckles available for 188 gold bullion a little reminder these are all discounted so no matter what you're buying it will be at a discount unless you're buying the gutter and the whistle in the dark just because they're gonna rip you off because ready you can buy them at someone's camp or get them for free at daily ops now to finish on this week we do have two plans available for the war glaive and we've got the flaming blade for 150 and the shock blade for 150 as well sadly i've never used these so i can't give much advice on them but the flaming one definitely sounds like a lot more fun than the shock one but i might be wrong that's it though guys, I hope you've all enjoyed. Just a reminder, this is available from the 8th of August till the 10th of August and then she'll be disappearing for another week, so get them while you can. And I'm not going to go on a rant this week about the fact that there's still no new items, although I feel it in this, their bloody fury because what the hell are Bethesda doing? They want you to play the game yet they don't update very simple things like this. What is going on? I haven't got a clue, honestly, like this. Uh, just, I'm, not, I'm not getting into it. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you for your cooperation.